Welcome to worship at Vinland Lutheran Church on Good Friday. Today is the day that we remember when Jesus died on the cross for you. You will hear his story told tonight through the seven last words he spoke to us from the cross. Our high school youth group will show you the scenes. You'll hear music. We will join together in praying for ourselves and for our world. This is the night we call good, even though it is the night that Jesus died for us. But he took on our sin. He saved the world on this holy night. Welcome to worship. Behold, the life-giving cross on which was hung the salvation of the whole world. Oh, oh come, let us worship him. giving cross on which was hung the salvation of the whole world. Oh, oh come, come, let us worship him. him. hung the salvation of the whole world. Oh, oh come, let us, us worship him. him. Two others also who were criminals were led away to be put to death with him. When they came to the place that is called the skull, they crucified Jesus there with the criminals, one on his right and one on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. And they cast lots to divide his clothing. And the other people stood by watching, but the leaders scoffed at him, saying, He saved others, let him save himself if he is the Messiah of God, his chosen one. The soldiers also mocked him, coming up and offering him sour wine, and saying, If you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. There was also an inscription over him, This is the king of the Jews. Jesus, Jesus in, in the dying, dying woes, even while thy lifeblood flows, craving pardon for thy foes, Hear us, holy Jesus, Savior, for our pardon sue, when our sins thy pangs renew. For we know not what we do. Hear us, holy Jesus. O oh, may we mercy need, be like thee in heart and deed. When with wrong our spirits bleed, hear us, holy Jesus.
One of the criminals who were hanged there kept deriding him and saying, Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence of her condemnation? And we indeed have been condemned justly, for we are getting what we deserve for our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He replied, Truly I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. Jesus, pitying the sighs of the thief who near thee dies, promising him paradise, hear us, holy Jesus. May we in our guilt and shame still thy love and mercy claim, calling humbly on thy name, hear us, holy Jesus. May our hearts to thee incline, looking from our cross to thine, cheer our souls with hope divine, Hear us, holy Jesus. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me. When you come into your kingdom, Jesus, remember me. When you come into your kingdom, Jesus, remember me. When you come into your kingdom, Jesus, remember me. When you come into your kingdom, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Meanwhile, standing near the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing beside her, he said to his mother, Woman, here is your son. Then he said to the, to the disciple, Here is your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her into his own home. Jesus, loving to the end, her whose heart thy sorrows rend, and thy dearest human friend, hear us, holy Jesus. May we in thy sorrow share, for thy sake all peril dare, and enjoy thy tender care. Hear us, holy Jesus. May we all thy loved ones be, all one holy family, loving for the love of thee. Hear us, holy Jesus. Peace, 
When it was noon, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. At three o'clock, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani, which means, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of the bystanders heard it, they said, Listen, he is calling for Elijah. Jesus whelmed in fears unknown, with our evil left alone, while no light from heaven is shown. Hear us, holy Jesus. When we seem in vain to pray, and our hopes seem far away, in the darkness be our stay. Hear us, holy Jesus. Though no father seems to hear, though no light our spirits cheer, may we know that God is near. Hear us, holy Jesus.
After this, when Jesus knew that all was now finished, he said, in order to fulfill the scripture, I am thirsty. A jar full of sour wine was standing there, so they put a sponge full of the wine on a branch of hyssop and held it to his mouth. Jesus, in thy thirst and pain, while thy wounds thy lifeblood drain, thirsting more our love to gain, hear us, holy Jesus. Thirst for us in mercy still, all thy holy work fulfill. Satisfy thy loving will, hear us, holy Jesus. May we thirst thy love to know, lead us in our sin and woe, where the healing waters flow, hear us, holy Jesus. When Jesus had received the wine, he said, It is finished. Then he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. Jesus, all our ransom paid, all thy Father's will obeyed, by thy sufferings perfect made, hear us, holy Jesus. Save us in our soul's distress, be our help to cheer and bless, while we grow in holiness, hear us, holy Jesus. Brighten all our heavenward way with an ever holier ray till we pass to perfect day. Hear us, holy Jesus. Oh, sweet Creator, God. 
now about noon, and darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. While the sun's light failed and the curtain of the temple was torn in two, then Jesus, crying with a loud voice, said, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Having said this, he breathed his last. Jesus, all thy labor vast, all thy woe and conflict past, yielding up thy soul at last, hear us, holy Jesus. When the death shade round us lower, guard us from the tempter's power, keep us in that trial hour, hear us, holy Jesus. May thy life and death supply, grace to live and grace to die, grace to reach the home on high, hear us, holy Jesus.
Let us pray, brothers and sisters, for the Holy Church of God throughout the world, that God the Almighty Father guide it and gather it together so that we may worship him in peace and tranquility. Almighty and eternal God, you have shown your glory to all nations in Jesus Christ. Guide the work of the church. Help it to persevere in faith, proclaim your name, and bring salvation to people everywhere. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray for our pastors and other ministers, for all servants of the church, and for all the people of God. Almighty and eternal God, your spirit guides the church and makes it holy. Strengthen and uphold our pastors and our leaders. Keep them in health and safety for the good of the church and help each of us to do faithfully the work to which you have called us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray for all our brothers and sisters who share our faith in Jesus Christ, that God may gather and keep together in one church all those who know Christ as Lord. Almighty and eternal God, you give your church its unity. Look with favor on all who follow Jesus, your son. We are all consecrated to you by our baptism. Make us one in the fullness of faith and keep us one in the fellowship of love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty and eternal God, let us pray for those who do not believe in God, that they may find him who is the author and goal of our existence. Almighty and eternal God, you created humanity so that all might long to know you and have peace in you. Grant that in spite of the hateful things that stand in their way, they may all recognize in the lives of Christians the tokens of your love and mercy and gladly acknowledge you as the one true God and Father of us all. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray for those who serve in public office, that God may guide their minds and hearts so that all of us may live in true peace and freedom. Almighty and eternal God, you are the champion of the poor and oppressed. In your goodness, watch over those in authority so that people everywhere may enjoy justice, peace, freedom, and a share in the goodness of your creation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray that God, the almighty and merciful Father, may heal the sick, comfort the dying, give safety to travelers, free those unjustly deprived of liberty, and rid the world of falsehood, hunger, and disease. Almighty and eternal God, you give strength to the weary and new courage to those who have lost heart. Hear the prayers of all who call on you in any trouble, that they may have the joy of receiving your help in their need. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Finally, let us pray for all those things for which our Lord would have us ask. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen.
We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. 